Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's January the 31st. I'm just down at Spadina Key here in uh, Toronto Harbour Front. And I'm looking at uh, some big tugs there. There's Omni Coastal and MR Kane. And as you can see, the uh, dock here is all frozen. The lake is frozen. And we're looking over there at Toronto Island. Uh, so everything is pretty frozen. Actually, it's pretty balmy today. It's minus 10. Normally, it's been about minus 20 for the past month. So um, it's warm compared to what it has been. Today, I'm going to look at uh, receiving AIS, my favorite signal. And we're going to look at receiving it on STR Angel, which is a very powerful uh, software program. Previously, I've looked at AIS on AIS Deco, on uh, Open Plotter as well as using multi-PSK but today we're going to use STR Angel and we're going to look at the results on uh, OpenCPN. Uh, I'm not going to do it outside because it's really bright so I'm just going to go over here if you can see over there there's a Starbucks conveniently and the Starbucks has a window and um, the window overlooks the harbor so I can stick my uh, RTL on my knapsack and have my antenna sticking out and it should be able to pick something up. So we're just gonna go over there. And I'm in Starbucks here. If you look outside the window there, you can see a nice big tug over there. And on the other side of the gap, there's the Iron Guppy. And what I'm doing today is I'm looking at uh, receiving AIS on SDR Angel. I just started working with SDR Angel recently. It's an incredible program. It's got so many features. So you can see on the screen here that I'm looking at channel 87B and channel 88B and you can see the bursts of AIS data there. Um, I've got my RTL receiver here. Uh, let's just pull it out. I'm using the version 2 with a metal case. It's very accurate. It's got a PPM of pretty close to 0 or minus 1. And um, I'm just sitting inside because it's a lot warmer than being outside. So we'll go over to Camtasia and we'll look at the screen. Today I'm looking at receiving AIS packets on STR Angel. STR Angel is an incredibly uh, powerful um, STR program. So to receive the AIS, we have to um, look at several different modules. And in the window here, the modules we're going to be looking at are sampling devices, spectrum display, presets is what you use to save uh, everything you've configured, and channels. So let's look at the um, sampling devices first. So I'm using an RTL SDR version 2 with a metal case. So I'm going to set my frequency here to 162 megahertz. So that's right between channel 87B, which is uh, 161.975, and between 88B, which is 162.025. So you set it in the middle. Uh, I've set my PPM to minus one because it's very accurate, the, the metal version. And I've got the full sample right here of 2400. I uh, probably don't need that, but I've got it anyways. And I've set the decimation at 16 so I can see, uh, right now you can see the uh, 80, there's 88B and there's 87B, and you can see the pulses, the, the GMFSK um, 9.6 uh, kil kilobaud per second pulses in there. Now what you don't see down here, there's a gain. I've set the gain at 40.2 dB. I've really cranked it up. Normally you don't need that much. Uh, sometimes with these modules, you have to go to dock and undock because sometimes you don't see the full amount of the module. So it's down there. I've also got some presets here. So I've been experimenting with different things. So I just set the preset to remember everything so I don't have to go back and reload the modules. Now to receive um, AIS, you've got to uh, go to the channels here. And you've got to add two channels. I've added two separate demodulators, one for channel 87. Uh, there's 87B, which is minus 25 kilohertz from the center frequency, which will be 91, uh, 161.975. And I've added another one at 88B, which is 25 kilohertz above. Uh, I'm going to look at my results on open CPN. So I'm going to move use UDP packets. This is similar to what I did with AIS Deco 2. So I'm just taking the default network address that the module opens up with, which is 127.001. And I'm using the same port that I did in my earlier posts, and I've got this checked at NMEA. Don't forget to check here. You've got to check this box here. Down here, what you can do is you can see all the messages, which is fantastic, that you're receiving. 
on, let's say, 88B. You can also look at the waveforms. I haven't I've done too much with this, but it's like a scope and a spectrum panel. It's absolutely amazing. So you've got really a lot of detail. And here's the second demodulator down there. Same thing, UDP address. I've just taken the default and I put it at 4159. And again, you can see the messages there. Let me expand this and we can look at the spectrum here. There's uh, 88B and there's 87B. And you can see the bursts of information. It's really cool. And let's go to OpenCPN. So there's OpenCPN, and we can see all our contacts there. There's good old Iron Guppy. He's across the gap there. And there's one contact here, uh, which is fairly uh, fairly close. And there's the tugboat, I think, which is uh, right in front of me. And there's another contact there. There's Odyssey. I've also selected the any. MEA debug windows. So if you go into connections here, let's just look at the connections you set up. So there's my UDP connection setup. Um, this opens default 0000. I just changed it to the default on uh, SDR Angel 127.001 and 41.59. Uh, 41 and I've also ticked off show any MEA debug window. So there we go then. There's a quick rundown of Seeing SDR Angel for receiving AIS.